Uh, by the way, uh, as you mentioned with Getsy, so with the Bears over the last two years, well, last year, they ran the second most uh, in the NFL. So it, it, it really shows you how, uh, like you said, this is a perfect coordinator for the type of offense that Pierce wants to run. Uh, and White also, like you said, I mean, I looked at his stats, too, uh, over his limited action. I think it was, what, four starts last year. He carried the ball at a 4.73 yards per carry clip, averaged 3.21 yards after contact per attempt, uh, which was 13th in the NFL. But again, only four starts uh, just shows you that he is the perfect fit as well for this offense. So uh, is he going? it sounds like to me he's going to get the ball a lot. Do you think he's going to get over 300 carries? Well, let me just tell you this. My young, well, he's not younger anymore because my wife and I adopted, but my youngest biological son is a sophomore in college. And you know how much these millennials today take their fantasy football. Oh, yeah. And he, and he called me and he goes, Dad, I just need you to tell me. He goes, I read everything. I watch everything <laughs> you do. Is, should I take Zeus as my number one guy? And I said, oh. take him, son. Oh. So I'm just going to say this to you. If, if he isn't, the holidays are going to suck in my family, and I love being a dad. I want to go back to something you said a minute ago, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, you talked about Zeus. So I want to put him in perspective for people. Uh, I've known Nick Saban a long time, and Nick really shaped Kirby. And one thing that Nick never gets enough credit for is his development of running backs, but he never has a bell cow. He spreads it around because he wants those. Nick understood if my guys get to the NFL and the story is, well, Nick ran all the tread off the tires, I'll never be able to recruit another. And so anytime you could pick a guy from Alabama, you always wanted to because you know Nick didn't overuse him. Well, same thing is true in Georgia. So the Raiders go pick Zamir White. Well, he sat basically behind Josh Jacobs. Now, luckily for him, Josh was injured all the time. So he got reps, but he literally gets here at this point in his career with a ton of tread left on the tires. There are great running backs coming out of college who don't have the tread on the tire he does, and he's been in the league for several years. So the Raiders got a workhorse, great kid. I mean, a phenom if he were a guy working as a manager at McDonald's, every one of us dads want our daughter to marry him. He is just one of the finest human beings you'll ever meet. The guy has muscles in places I've never even seen in my body. And he is just a workhorse with so much tread. If you haven't picked in your fantasy draft yet, all I'm going to do is give you one piece of advice. Zeus, Zeus, Zeus. Right here, checking a look at the uh, – this was the scouting report by our lads uh, when he came out in the draft uh, talking about um, – and look, this is what you said, team captain, by the way. Uh, mm -hmm. brings a, uh, brings a physical, no nonsense approach to carrying the football. Consistently runs behind his pads and gains yards after contact. Shows the ability to make aggressive, explosive cuts, et cetera, et cetera. So you know, pushing the pile. This is exactly what you're talking about. So you you want you want to get a good laugh. So I, I want to share this with you. So Nick always said, "I want a run mate." Because I asked him one day, I said, "Nick, tell me, you you're so good at 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 at." at recruiting and developing running backs what's the biggest key because you've done it with the big ones you've done it with small ones what's the biggest key now i thought he would say speed relative to size he said no in fact he just looked at me he laughed at me no so what is it he says i put on the film and i want to watch the last hundred rushes he goes and, and this is the key he goes i want to watch the last hundred rushes that weren't successful I said, all right, why? He goes, because I want the guy who falls forward. They hit him four years by four yards behind the line because his offensive line screwed up, but he ends up only losing two. I don't want the guy that gets hit at four yards and loses five yeah. or gets hit at four and loses four. I want to just know. He goes, if he's hit at four yards behind the line and they only lose three, that's a plus to me. He goes, I'm already looking at the kid because I know he can run. I want to know, does he fall forward? That's Zeus. I asked Zeus last year after the Christmas game, and it wasn't I – I was with him in the locker room, but it was like a couple days later at the facility, the Raiders facility. I, I just talked to him. I said, you know, did you feel like you are in the zone? And he goes, yeah, because I told him, you know, Michael Jordan once talked about with me about playing in the zone. And so I said to him, 
there was a couple plays there where you, you could have maybe kicked to the outside, cooked to the inside. Can you talk about what your thought process was? And he goes, yeah, it's just easier to run over them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 